I know, I know, I know. It's been weeks since I posted anything. Sorry about that. Just life gets away from you. I don't make a living on YouTube, so I gotta focus on the job and the family sometimes. And then the next thing I know, it's been weeks and no new content. But I have an update concerning the Mariposa family tragedy, the story that I covered in a few videos that drew most of, most of you to my channel to subscribe. Authorities have released their official findings, and that is they died from hypothermia. Not hypo, hyperthermia, which is more or less a fancy word for heat exhaustion, heat stroke, dehydration, etc. Now, some of you are going to say, dude, you were wrong. You doubted it. Yeah, I did doubt that it was heat exhaustion. For you know a couple reasons that I've covered. You know, one is after browsing their social media, their Instagram, they seemed like active people. They seemed intelligent. They seemed experienced. They didn't seem like the kind of people that would make that kind of mistake. Uh, two, that they all died from it. The husband, the wife, the baby, and the dog. I'm not saying it's impossible. I don't like the word impossible. It didn't seem likely. And that's because Everyone responds differently to conditions, hot or cold or whatever. You could take another dude like me, same height, weight, age, all that. Put us out on like a 15 mile hike or push us to the point of like, you know, heat exhaustion. And we're probably going to break down at different levels, different speeds. I might go down faster. The other person might go down faster. We're all different. We're all different. In the military, I, I've seen a lot, a lot of heat injuries. And they were all different. I, I experienced a couple myself. Sometimes it happened early on. Sometimes it wasn't to 12 hours later at the very end, like on, you know, really long 20 mile hikes. <laughs> you know? A lot of things contribute to it. And so John was probably my age, I believe, mid 40s. Um, Ellen was like in her early 30s. And they definitely are built differently. If you see the pictures of them together. So the idea that they all and the dog went down, and I'm not saying at the exact same time. Some people have said that to me. They won't die at the exact same time. I didn't say the exact same time. I'm talking about in like a relatively small window that close to each other. And I could see like maybe, you know, the husband going down and the wife still getting back to the car to go get help. Okay, that, that happens a lot. A lot of people, though, aren't buying the statement. They still say it's way too suspicious. They think there's a cover-up. I don't have any evidence about that. I'm not going to make a statement like that without some sort of evidence but i will say that it is still very very hard for me to wrap my head around it's very strange oops shit falling on my ass it's very strange there's a lot of little rocks out here just excuse me i'm old and fat and walking in rocks with a dog pulling me but it's very strange and i'm always going to consider it a very strange case but there's a first time for everything. Do I believe it? I can't say yes or no. I just, I can't. I can't be so binary on this. I don't want to say no because I don't have any other evidence. Like, even if I had access to the forensic files, I wouldn't know how to read them. I wouldn't know the first thing to do with that information. I still can't say yes, I believe it, though, because it just still feels very weird to me. Something in my heart is having a very hard time 
buying its heat exhaustion or hyperthermia. <sighs> Either way, you know, condolences to their family. Still very sad, no matter what really happened. It's still very sad, very tragic. Well, I'm out here for a nice Friday night stroll before the rainstorms come in. Yes, we're finally getting rain in California. The past few days has been drizzling, which is good. I mean, as dry as it's been, you want to start with drizzle, not hard rains. However, California has to have two different extremes. We were in this big drought, tons of wildfires, and now we got some crazy cyclone moving in tonight, and it could drop up to a foot of rain in some areas, and possibly up to six feet of snow in the mountains. The same mountains that were burning just a few weeks ago. I mean, what the fuck? Make up your mind. I swear to God, this state stresses me out. <laughs> you can see the clouds kind of moving in. So I'm trying to get a little walk in, a little exercise. <sighs> and I wanted to give you an all, all an update. Apologize for not posting. I really do like making content. This isn't my only YouTube channel. I have others I've been working on. Uh, different stuff, not me vlogging, not me talking at all, just other things. And it's easy to get distracted <laughs> from like this channel. This channel was just, I needed a, a fuck off channel that I can just go on, post whatever, talk about stuff, maybe do some of my photography, some hiking. That's not really associated with the other stuff that I do. Because the other stuff that I do has nothing to do with my face, my voice, my name, or anything like that. So this channel does get a little neglected. But for what it's worth, I still do like to record content. I like to post stuff. I still buy gear to make content. I got several of these LED lights, which are awesome. Several GoPros, microphones. Actually, I'm pretty lucky with the gear I have. I just need to use it more. All right, well, now I'm rambling, and who the hell wants to listen to that? All right, well, thanks for tuning in. I'd be interested in hearing your opinions on the Mariposa family tragedy and the final verdict from the authorities. Whether it's conspiracy theories, whether you support them, you all have a right to your own opinion. I may or may not agree with you, but it doesn't mean I dislike you. We can all have a different opinion, despite what some, pe some people like to say. So, and I love hearing everyone's opinions, even if some of your opinions are freaking out there. And they were. No offense, but some of you were just out there. <laughs> and I mean that in the best way possible. Well, sorry for the wait. And thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you again next time.